back to my channel. My name is Kiki. Today's video is a kitchen tour video. You guys have been asking me for one for a really long time, so I've finally gotten around to one. I cleaned my kitchen so that I could give you guys a tour. You guys asked me all the time how we were able to find this house and the property that we wanted. And um, the truth is we found the property and then built the house. We sold the big house in the city and we knew we wanted to downsize, but it's hard to come across a house that's gonna work for you. So we decided to start the long process of designing the house ourselves and building it. So it was a long process. I personally would like to never go through it again. It, it took a long time. We lived with my mom, thank you mom, for over a year. <laughs> and she was amazing and took us all in. She had all four of us with her and again, mom, I love you. So yeah, so my husband and I designed every square inch of this house. We wanted it to function as much as possible for our needs. Um, I wanted the kitchen and living space to be most of the house, so we made all of the bedrooms a lot smaller. They're still spacious and we have really tall ceilings, so everything feels a lot bigger than it actually is. But yeah, I designed the house and then I did all of the interior design by myself. It's something that I really enjoy, it's something I've done before, so that's really my favorite part. I I absolutely loved doing all of the interior design and picking out my light fixtures and my colors and tiles. I like love that stuff. So today I am gonna show you guys the kitchen and dining room and the pantry you guys always ask me about. I am gonna be linking everything that I can for you guys. You guys are always asking me about my cutting boards and my utensils and my glass jars and my other decor. So I'm gonna be getting so much better about that. I'm gonna be linking as much as I can for you guys in the description box. We are currently working on getting a whole page on my website that is just you know, my favorite products and home furnishings so that you guys just have links in one spot. For now, they're gonna be in the description box, but I, lo I will let you guys know as soon as we have that page up so that you're not having to like comb through all of my videos and try to remember where that link was. I know it's a nightmare, but it's been a process, guys. Remember, last year when I started my channel, it had been at least a decade since I had been on a PC. I didn't even know how to send an email at that point. So I've come a long way. I'm also gonna be showing you guys the couple appliances that have made our lives a lot easier as a plant-based family. I don't work with any of the companies of the appliances that I'm showing you guys today so that you guys know I'm not just trying to sell you guys these appliances. These are things that I paid full price for and that I have used for many years and I really like and find useful. And a quick book update because I keep getting like at least 100 messages a day. I know you guys have been so patient. So we spoke with the printers and the book is currently being printed but they're printing thousands of copies so it does take time. It looks like Amazon will have all of the books mid-October. So I will let you guys know as soon as the books are ready to be purchased and shipped out. All right, let's start the tour. So we designed this big like bay window area into it and so my husband built these benches in here so they fit perfectly and they've got storage underneath and we were able to find a table that fits exactly in here and he actually had to adjust the benches so that everything would work. 
So then for the pillows, I got a bunch of cloth and made the pillows the way I wanted. So this is, adds like a really cozy element. And I absolutely love my dining room, especially when it snows out here. It is absolutely gorgeous. kitchen and honestly most of my main floor is kitchen when we downsized I wanted to design a very open space and for most of it to be kitchen because we all spend most of the time here so this is my big island that I love Um, I don't know what kind of wood this is, but I love it. I think it's like hickory or something. I'm not sure. And then this is just a white quartz countertop. And then this sink, I did a big farm sink, which I love. And I did a black insert because I don't like seeing how dirty or scratched up it gets. And then this fixture I fell in love with at the design center and this thing comes off and everybody that comes over thinks this is really cool. So I just love the kind of like brushed gold. Okay, and then cabinet so I went to the ceiling and I'm really glad I did I don't actually use all of the cabinets up there because I can't reach up there and I'm not gonna leave out a stool so it's fine I think it's better that we're not filling all these cabinets anyway <laughs> so this is a lot of you guys ask me what this is and this is a pot filler so what you do is you put your big pot on your stove and then you turn it on and it fills your pot with water and it's really it's silly because I can just fill my pot over here and put it on the stove but it's really cute so I wanted to make sure I had one and I know you guys are gonna ask me about my little pots and things. And so I just buy these fake like herb plants on Amazon. So I'll make sure and give you guys links for everything. Um, I get pots on Amazon or at local nurseries. So I will make sure and link as much as I can for you guys in the description box. All right, so a lot of you guys asked me about my fridge and I didn't clean it or organize it. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like and it's really bad guys. <laughs> that is real life, that's what it looks like normally. <laughs> so I love it, it's only counter depth, which means it's a little more shallow, it's not a big deep fridge but it's the Samsung Chef Series. I'm not sure if you can still get them. I'll see if I can find something applicable or something similar by Samsung because I know you guys ask me all the time, but the thing that I love the most about this refrigerator is that the freezer can actually double as a refrigerator. So there's two freezer sides. See how dirty it is, guys? Oh, there's two sides, and if I need them to be a freezer, then I can use them as a freezer, or if I need more fridge space, they can be a fridge. So I love that about this fridge. All right, so over here, we just have like open shelving. I really love like the cafe bistro style shelving. I just wanted it open, and it's easy for my kids to get to and it's easy for them to unload the dishwasher and put things away. All right, so from the kitchen, we are now walking into my pantry. Now my pantry doubles as my laundry room and my office. So <laughs> it's kind of tight in here, but I'll show you guys. Okay, so I know you guys are gonna ask me, so I'm telling you, I am gonna find as many links as I can for you guys for all of my glass jars. I really do find a lot on Amazon because we live out of town and so it's just easier to have things sent to me. Um, but when I do go into town, I find 
or into other little towns when we travel. I love going into the little kitchen stores that they have and finding unique pieces. Okay, so all of this stuff is just like the different pieces that I use to take pictures like you guys see in my cookbook and on my Instagram and website. So I love collecting unique little pieces like this, you know, and then when I set up pictures, they come out really nice. guys know like I love my pantry to feel inspirational so I have everything in glass jars look how cute these little wood scoops are I have to show you guys this rolling pin that I found it is absolutely gorgeous I think I actually found this at world market world market is like one of my favorite stores all of my light fixtures come from world market I like things to look pretty. I like things to feel inspirational. I want to be inspired to cook because I just, I don't love cooking. <laughs> so over here I've got um, like my apothecary stuff and I got all of this on Amazon. I will link all of it for you guys. I also get like the dried flowers that I put in there as well on Amazon. And as you can see, I like to buy our oats and beans and rice and flour in bulk and I need to get more brown rice but we don't eat a lot of brown rice as you guys know we're a white rice family <laughs> but this is where I keep everything and again I will link these cute little things I just got them on Amazon so I'll try to find some of these wood utensils as well and then this stick right here I just pulled from outside and made that so get creative okay so now on this side of the very pretty pantry side. I have some shelves that I made guys. I distressed these, I cut them, I stained them, and I hung them. My husband did have to fix my work a little bit, like I'm not gonna lie, but I learned a lot. <laughs> so again, I just have more dishes and things that I use when photographing for a cookbook or for the website or Instagram. And then how cute are these, these apothecary jars? I absolutely love them. So I need to put stuff in them, I don't know what. I'm gonna put in them yet but and then this is where I work this is where I edit videos for you guys this is where I sew I love sewing for my daughter I gotta show you guys these cute fabrics look how cute how cute of aprons would this make it's so so cute and this one is like my current favorite right now it's so adorable anyway when I have spare time, I like to sew. And then the washer and dryer, nothing exciting. So we also have this little, like, I don't know what it's called. Is it like a beverage cooler? But we pretty much keep like our greens and our potatoes in here and big bags of <laughs> carrots. And my husband keeps his beer in here <laughs> too. Oh, it's ginger beer, not the fun beer. Okay, so I know you guys are gonna ask me because you always do about like my mirrors and my candlesticks So I'll give you guys a closer look and I'll let you know where you can find Items like these not necessarily these ones because I've had them for years and years, but I'll let you guys know All right, so these candlesticks you guys ask me a lot about, and they're actually from Pier 1 Imports, but I have seen very similar candlesticks like this at Home Goods. So most of my mirrors come from either World Market or Home Goods. Those are my two favorite stores. Home Goods, if you're not familiar with it, is kind of like a discount store. It's like a TJ Maxx for home furnishings, and that's where I find like all of my fall decor. my cutting boards there you guys are always asking me about my cutting boards 
Home Goods and TJ Maxx are where I get all of these really unique cutting boards. You can also find really cool like little wooden utensils. I love just like the really natural look of wood utensils. I found this at World Market. Again, I'll try to find as many links for you guys as I can for this stuff. the few appliances that I have loved especially as a plant-based family you guys have asked me to share with you what I find the most useful so my mom got one of these guys and she has been raving about it so I decided I needed to give it a try because you guys have seen my big air fryer which I have loved but this <laughs> allowed me to get rid of my toaster and my air fryer, so I was really excited about that. And it bakes, and it proofs bread. It does everything. It's like having another little oven plus an air fryer, so I love this. So this is the Breville Smart Oven, and my mom was right, this thing is amazing. So it's dirty, of course, but this is what we air fry in. It's a huge basket, so especially with the family, I need to be able to air fry a lot at a time, which was difficult in the other air fryer. Even though it was big, it didn't have this amount of space. So I have been loving this. It has all these really fun settings. You can just like, you know, put it to whatever and then do the time and then hit start. So this has been awesome because I got to get rid of two other appliances. But if you don't have room for an air fryer or a smart oven, it is not the end of the world. The whole first year that we were plant-based, we didn't have an air fryer or an Instapot. You can definitely do this without those things, especially if you don't have the room for it. They're just things that are like bonuses and they make things a little bit easier. This is easier to manage for my kids than the oven so if my son wants to air fry some potatoes for them he can just pop them in here and he's not dealing with the big tray and the big oven but again it's not absolutely necessary to be successful on a plant-based diet okay so high-speed blender i out of everything i think this gets used the most because we make cheese stop cheese stop we make cheese sauce non-stop and we also make refried beans Cheese sauce made with cashews just does not get creamy unless you have a high-speed blender. Now, I do have a subscriber that said she doesn't have a high-speed blender and she had a really good idea. So if you can't afford a high-speed blender, what she does before she adds all the other ingredients to the cashews to make my cheese sauce, she grinds it up. She grinds up the cashews with the spices in the blender beforehand and makes a nice powder and then adds the potatoes and the carrots and all of that and then blends it. And she says she gets a really good creamy cheese sauce. So if you can't afford a high speed blender, then that might work to help you guys get that creamier consistency that you see that my cheese sauce has. Okay, as far as blenders go, I don't have a Vitamix. Um, I'm just, I'm kind of frugal. <laughs> So I was at Costco and they had the Vitamix show going on and the Blendtec show and the Blendtec was a lot cheaper and it seemed to do everything just as well and I don't have to like have an attachment to like push everything down with. So we went for the Blendtec, but I don't know. Vitamix might be amazing too. I'm sure it's amazing. I mean, they sell lots of them, right? So anyway, Costco is the best deal for a blender for the Vitamix and the Blendtec because they'll give you attachments included in that price. Whereas if you go online, you're ba you're paying for these attachments separately and they're really, really expensive. This comes in handy when I'm just blending a little amount of beans or sauce. Don't put hot liquids in here because it is not made for hot liquid. It will explode everywhere. Anyway, don't put hot cheese sauce in here and expect to blend it because it will go everywhere and it will burn you. I have a scar on my foot where cheese sauce landed on my foot and burned me. Okay, so this is like a $30, maybe less magic bullet. And you can get them at Walmart, you can get them on Amazon. I will link 
everything for you guys in the description box. But I use this a ton. My dad gave this to me like a decade ago and it's still <laughs> running strong. Um, I use this to grind our flax seed. I use this to make um, spice mixtures with like nutritional yeast and rosemary and stuff like that. I think that this is extremely useful and it's small and it's inexpensive. Okay, and the last appliance that has made life a lot easier is the Instapot. So again, these are big appliances. If you don't have this space or you really don't wanna spend the money or you just don't want another appliance, then you can do just fine without them. But I use this for steaming tons of potatoes. I can steam like 40 potatoes, maybe that's an exaggeration. I can steam a lot of potatoes at once for the week. So on Sunday, I will usually just steam a ton of potatoes, then I'll cook our rice for the week, and then I'll, what else do I do? I'll cook oatmeal for the week, I'll make, I'll make a really easy curry doll in here for the week. So I use this a lot. I don't have a lot of Instapot recipes before you guys ask me because I know you will because I still haven't really figured out how to make soups other than like curry in here. So I'm working on it. Maybe I need to get High Carb Hannah's Instapot cookbook book. She's my friend. Hannah, send me your book. That is it for today. I hope you enjoyed my kitchen tour. Again, I will link as much as I can in the description box for you guys. And if you wanna know how I lost 70 pounds and have been able to keep it off, make sure you check out my channel. And I will link my maximum weight loss playlist below so you can check that out. All right, I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Ah!